Tessa Tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Metro Manila Arena. We're here in the Philippines for our main event of the evening. 12 rounds of heavyweights between these two great warriors. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue book, bad intentions of Keys. And his opponents, fighting out of the blue corner, bad intentions, Clinch go. Okay, gentlemen, we went over the passing room. Well, they've been waiting for this moment, and now they get it. Round one underway. Two guys that can really take each other out. What's the best means of defense? Well, if one guy says to himself, I'm not the power puncher, then he has to be smart. He has to be technically solid in all areas. He's going to have the edge. And a good counter by bad intentions. Blocked by bad intentions. And a smart counter punch by bad intentions. Rushing two punch combo by bad intentions. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Counters with a crushing blow to the head. Hard to believe that they can keep up this pace, but who cares? It's so entertaining while it lasts. You can sense it right away, Teddy. Looks like it's a tactical bout tonight. Well, that's what happens when you get two counter punches. Nobody wants to leave. Teddy, why is it in boxing that there are so many distinct styles that are defined by geography or culture or ethnicity, where we have a Mexican-styled fighter, an Eastern European, you know, upright fighter, an American-styled fighter. Why is that? Because you are influenced by your surroundings, by the temperament of the people in your surroundings. Aggressive people, aggressive style. Very thoughtful people, people that are very cerebral. Well, you're gonna have a defensive style. You're gonna have a very careful style. It's going to fit right in. Ten clicks of the talk. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Here we go, round two is underway. Good defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. Nice block by Bad Intentions. A nice crisp hook after a fine defensive effort.
good way to protect the midsection. Fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. A crafty counterpunch after a fine defensive effort by Klitschko. Oh! Just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. Ortiz is trying to create some space between him and his opponent. You know he wants to fight on the inside. He cannot be smothered. Accurate counter punch by bad intentions. He was on wobbly legs not long ago. Now he's got his feet back under him. What is that, a chin or is that Mount Rushmore? A little something for his opponent after getting tagged. Excellent counterpunch by bad intentions. Nice strike after catching one by Klitschko. Tucks those elbows in, blocks the body shot. Final 10 seconds. Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. Very nice job landing that counter punch, getting away from one that was coming at him. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by bad intentions. Stay away from the inside. <laughs> On the mark, the counter punch by bad intentions. <laughs> He returns the favor with an uppercut. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Klitschko. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Come on, side to side. Miss that body shot. Very clever move there. Little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by bad intention. Seconds to go in this third round. End of the
the round here, and as I glance around ringside and look at the judges, I'm wondering what they're writing down because that was a tough round to score. Yeah, it was, and you know, it's the kind of round where one guy would be really smart to take a page out of the book of Sugar Ray Leonard, Marvin Hagler, where Leonard stole rounds at the end, where he just clipped off 30 seconds, and that's exactly what the judges remembered. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Ortiz's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Blocks away that headshot. Protect yourself. Be up to the punch. He's committed to that left hand and it's working out. Teddy, is it possible that he didn't respect this fighter coming into the fight? Now I know a lot of people would say, yeah, he's ahead on the scorecards. But you can just see the style of fight that this is bad. He's being tested. Yeah, I think it's a combination of two things. This guy being better than his record would indicate, and what you touched on, that he's a human being like anybody else. We look at the guy's record, we think of what kind of fight it's going to be. He looked at it, he thought it was going to be a little easier than it's turning out. <laughs> Plays counter by Klitschko. Klitschko, I mean, you can tell by how committed he is at staying on the outside and just continuing to score like this that he is employing a strategy that he really wanted to push for. Yeah, I give him a lot of credit because he understood what kind of fight he was getting ready for. A guy who was very strong but very slow-footed. So he's making sure that he does not feed into his opponent's strengths and he makes sure that he exploits his weaknesses. Glitch goes showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that and say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue and red corner what he did early because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Defensive skill with the block by bad intentions. <laughs> Blocks that belt line well. Tried and true method that works out very well. The counterpunch landing by bad intentions. It is unbelievable how this fight is being fought. Both guys unwilling to stop. 
One guy goes at it, the other guy meets him punch for punch. Well, you've heard it before. You've heard the term used one day at a time to deal with something very difficult. Well, this is one round at a time. That is the only way these fighters, these warriors, could deal with this kind of pace. Bunches and bunches, combination up top. <laughs> Halfway through what is one of the best rounds you'll ever see. Just great action. No, it's unbelievable. I mean, if you love roller coasters, you go to an amusement park. If you want to see left hooks, right hands, every direction, great chins, great endurance, great heart, you come to this fight. You stay right here. Seconds remaining in this round. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecard. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Turn fire that time. Good block by Klitschko. There's a taste of the sweet science. You see the skill he has in counterpunching. And you know what he's doing? He's taking his opponent's jab away. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there's some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Oh, very nice. Smart counterpunch there. Yeah, that's beautiful. You make the guy miss, you make him pay. to go in what has been two minutes of sensational action. Neither man coming off stride. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Way to block there. seconds six rounds in the books six to go he has found his groove with this right hand
Good looking counter punch. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Throws a counter punch there. Shot blocked. This is great stuff. I mean, great stuff. Bringing it every which way they are. So you remember the time you were on a vacation, you saw that perfect sunset? Oh, yeah. It was just beautiful. This is beautiful. Lands the counter. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Punch by bad intentions. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Blocks that punch. Super three-punch combination by Bad Intentions. Nice job to land that counter-punch and getting away from one of his own by Bad Intentions. Accurate counter-punch by Klitschko. Klitschko's strategy has been to control things on the outside. And the jab fits perfectly into it. Yeah, what it's done is it's set up his defense. He's kept his opponent defensive, kept him off balance, off stride. And it's also set up his power shots whenever he's wanted to. And as this round comes to an end, Teddy, you just get the sense that at any point this fight could come to an end because it is being fought with bad intentions. Yes, these guys are not behaving like guys that are coming here thinking about going to the scorecards. They're letting everything go in every punch. himself and it's a left hand very clever move there a little defense turns to offense the counter punch by bad intentions Effective work, the three-punch combination. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Oh, that's good stuff. Firing right back with one of his own. Good work by Klitschko. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. He's really getting off with his punches and multi-numbers here.
What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. Last 10 seconds of the eighth round. The ninth round is here. Good block there by bad intentions. And a good counter by bad intentions. Teddy, I guess they wanted it. Look at this action going right out there, wasting no time. No, these guys are impatient. They couldn't wait to get at each other. Ortiz's nose is now starting to bleed. Some fine fundamentals, good counterpunch. Nice mousetrap, they let him in beautifully. He didn't use cheese, he used distance. Yeah. Return to sender, he gives him back one of his own. Blocks away that headshot. He took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Halfway through the ninth round. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Nice block by bad intentions. A minute to go in what has been a memorable round. Great stuff from these two. He's got his guard up really well that time and it protects his head. Defense into offense comes back with the counter punch. And that's exactly what he brings to the game. He makes you miss, he makes you pay, and he makes you think twice about throwing a punch later on. Final 10 seconds. As that round comes to an end, it gives us a moment to kind of reflect on this overall fight. And Teddy, my thoughts are pretty clear cut. This is the kind of fight that just takes on a personality of its own. This is an all-out war. Yeah, this is kind of like watching a guy who's not on a budget. You know, he's spending with both hands. You know, when he goes home, he's going to have no money in his pockets. And when this fight is over, these guys are going to have nothing left in the gas tank, and it's probably not going to a decision. Blocks away that headshot. Good work. Two clean shots get in by Klitschko. Ortiz is sitting here wondering why he's getting hit so much. How about this? You're not moving your head at all. Well, how about don't wonder about it? You weren't taught that probably in the gym. You didn't work on that in the gym. Well, it's not going to come to you suddenly when you're in the arena. Good job on the two-punch combo by Bad Intentions. He's a big right hand after eating one himself.
Took a shot, now he gives a left. Accurate counter punch by bad intentions. I think it has come to that point. He's behind on the cards, he's just gotta be. Going to take a knockout to win this? Yeah, I think so. And it's going to take a certain kind of attitude or strategy, a change in strategy. You go into the fights, you don't look for a knockout. You're looking to use your jab. You're looking to set up punches. You're looking to go rounds. Right now, he's got to find a way to get a knockout. Look for one punch. One big punch right now. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Well placed counter punch by Klitschko. He likes to fight on the outside, but right now he's taking some punishment. Well, he's standing up tall. He's on the outside, but he's allowing his opponent to get into places where he can find them. Standing straight up. Not hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Very nice defensive guard there. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. Good work. Two clean shots get in by Klitschko. Well, maybe one of the most impressive characteristics and traits in all of boxing, and we're seeing it on display here. He has an iron chin. A little defense turns to offense by Klitschko. Able to dismiss his opponent's shot, and then comes back with an uppercut. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Joe, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. Comes right back with a shot of his own. Looking right hand after he got hit. Good scoring counter punch by Klitschko. Place counter punch by bad intentions. Blocks that belt line well. good war this has been what a good good solid fight it's been the kind of fight that tells me 
somebody wants to get rid of the other guy. It almost looks like they made a deal where neither one could win by decision. Where if they didn't win by knockout, it doesn't count. Well-targeted counterpunch by Klitschko. Klitschko's proving here that he can't hit what you can't reach. You see the movement he's putting for it. Yeah, he's using his legs real well. He's controlling range. He's just not allowing his opponent to get into the punching distance he needs. He gives as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Dismiss that body shot. <laughs> Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Defense turns to offense, the counter punch by bad intentions. Get much better. And a well placed counter by Klitschko. And he returns on that exchange. Find out by sending it up Ladies to the ring announcer. Tonight, the judges have reached a split decision. Your winner, bad intentions, let's go. Klitschko's your winner by split decision tonight. Yeah, I disagree with that. That was the split decision. I had a winning much clearer than that. Won't be the first time we say that. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us ringside.